Greetings. Today we want to talk about the homemade or do-it-yourself solar electric panel. This one here is using two pieces of plexiglass that are four millimeters. So it's fairly thick plexiglass so as not to allow the cells to bend because these solar crystals are very fragile. And there are 15, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 cells, each one of them putting out a half of a volt, 0.5 volts, and 3.5 amperes. So it's 1.75 watts when the sun is directly shining on it peak. And um, because it's 1.75 watts, when you add all this together, you should be able to get about 26 watts off of this panel. The problem is, because all of these cells are wired in series, going from the negative terminal here, underneath here, so negative, uh, which is the... Um, negative is the top side of the cell. The blue part is negative. So here's the negative uh, lead going, and then it goes underneath to the positive side of this cell, and then the top side picks up uh, negative, and then goes to the positive of this, and then down to the... Um uh, the, the negative side, uh, the positive side goes to the negative and the positive negative. So it's all positive negative series wiring going in a loop, as you can see, then connected here with this solder and then down and then weaving through here and then going across here through this solder and then back up again and then coming out from the bottom of the cell positive to this wire. And when you add the 0.5s up all the way, what you get is between 7.5 and 8 volts. So uh, between 7.5 and 8 is about all we can get from this, and that would not charge a 12-volt battery. Let me just show you the back of the panel for a second so you can see what the positive side of solar cells looks like and how they're uh, soldered together. And then we have silicone uh, to seal the plexiglass plates. Uh, so you've built this 26-watt panel, but you're only getting between 7.5 and, and 8 volts, and that makes it impossible to charge a 12-volt battery. So what do you do? Well, you could build another panel and connect it in series, but um, there's a simpler thing to do if you can only afford to build one panel, and that is to use a DC Spannungswandler, which is basically a voltage doubler. It comes in a kit here in Germany, and as you see here, it generates DC voltages which are almost twice as high as the supply voltage. So what we can do then, we built this uh, little kit, it's just a couple of capacitors and some diodes and uh, some resistors, and then a, uh, an IC chip in there, this, um, this one here that looks like a voltage regulator. And so you can see when I hook up the, uh, the voltmeter and I touch where the input is, coming from that solar panel, which is now in the sun. And I hook this up. Let me see if I can hold this so you can see. Then what happens Let's see. All right, so now I'm pushing that. And you see I get 7.59, 7.6. So a cloud has just come over. The sun is... Uh, not really high in the sky. So coming from there, we now are 7.69, 7.7, 7.72. So we're getting the rated voltage out of the panel, but we really want more than that. So through this, when we now connect to the other side of it, and that's a little tricky to hold, let's do that and then let's see if I can wedge that in there and then Holding the camera. One moment, let me put this down. Okay. Okay, so now I'm holding it there, and what you're seeing is, if I can get it right. Right, sorry about that. So now that I'm holding it there, you see I'm getting 18, 18 volts. And that is what a normal solar panel puts out in order to charge a 12-volt battery. So this little device, which costs about 13 euro here in, uh, in Germany, is all you need to take a panel that otherwise would only put out less than half that voltage. So that's not bad to be going from 7.6 all the way up to 
18. Once again, there's the input. Input voltage 7.74 coming off of the panel. And we were actually getting 8 volts when the sun was shining brightly off of it. And then when I switch this around and then I just have to put this down for a second. And then you see that I'm getting 18, 18 18.46 volts coming on the output side using this from that panel. And of course that's true even when the sun goes behind a cloud. Voltage tends to remain fairly stable even when there's cloud cover. It's current that drops precipitously when you have cloud cover. So you can always charge a battery on cloudy days. You just get a less quick charge because the current drops. So that's it. That's the idea. Is get yourself a DC Spannungswandler or a DC voltage transformer that doubles your voltage or more and you can build a single panel using these large cells and charge a battery. Thanks a lot.